I'm not a doctor. My advice should not be taken. When it comes to medication, you should trust someone who's a professional. My experience is personal and completely anecdotal. Nonetheless. Okay, uh, I'm gonna respond to this stuff. Quick background if you haven't watched my other videos. I was diagnosed with ADD when I was a kid. I took the drugs um, for on and off from the ages of 7 to 23 or 24. So quite a bit of those drugs. And I'm now 30, so it's six years where I'm not using any ADD drugs. And I get, I get a lot done, and I'm really happy, and I'm really satisfied with my life. But quitting Adderall was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to respond to some comments that I've seen on my videos. called How I Stopped Taking Adderall. How to deal with amphetamine withdrawal. A comment. Says, My wife is addicted to Adderall. She has destroyed her life entirely, and we are getting a divorce. She is 33, beautiful, and very smart. The drug took her and turned her into something else. Was there anything anyone could have said to you that would have... that? I'm sorry. Was there anything that anyone could have said to you that you would have believed them that you are addicted? She denies she has a problem. Thanks for sharing your story. Real Jay, I'm so sorry that you're going through this, and uh, my heart goes out to you and your wife. That makes this a little bit hard to relate to is I wasn't in a relationship when I was really in the deep throes of my Adderall addiction. I didn't tell anybody I was on it. I had tried to make the choice to quit, and it's very hard. It, it, it seems impossible. What happened to me was I lost access, so I didn't choose to quit. And asking someone to quit is really challenging with a drug like Adderall because you have the support of, for lack of a better term, the system. You know that there's the doctors, businesses, and corporations, and universities, and all these establishments, the whole DSM, everyone is saying it's okay. Everyone's encouraging the use of Adderall. So. To tell someone they're an addict, it's it's almost like, no, I can't be addicted to this because my doctor told me to take it. How dare you? I, I was only who I was because of Adderall. And it, it made me undateable. I can see how it could be damaging to a relationship because it, it, it brought a lot of my attention and my energy back inward. So I was a little more narcissistic and egotistical when in a relationship. Um, now, you know, clear, no Adderall, I'm really able to give myself away and to receive the other person and to think not only about myself but of the other person and I don't know the extent of your relationship I would advise you to be compassionate toward her and understand that it's a really serious addiction that what you may see as part of her you don't like may just be the drug the medicine may be changing the way she's acting or if she's trying to quit the withdrawals make you really nasty so I mean to support someone through that it takes a lot of love because <laughs> it makes you really depressed it made me I'm sorry the proverbial you is really me it made me really depressed when I quit Adderall I was um, you know I experienced suicidal thoughts I experienced just the worst sadness and no motivation to get up and when you're on Adderall and you get to the edge of not taking it, you know that that's all right there. So to stop, it, you have a natural instinct not to stop because it's allowing you to function. And you know that if you stop taking it, you're not gonna function. That's scary. It's super scary. It's like taking a leap because you don't know who you are. You don't know what you may have to leave behind. You know, when I was on the Adderall, I built a whole life. And when I stopped taking it, I had to, I had to, I mourned. You know, I, I don't know if your divorce is because of the Adderall. I don't want to prod. Feel free to respond to this, this video, and if you want, send me a... a um, I can speak to you privately. You know, I, maybe get some help. Go to some group counseling at a, at a therapist you, you trust. I love, love, I love everything. If I, if I could save your relationship, your marriage, I, I would. And I hope that maybe you guys can do some healing together. I don't, I don't know, man. But it breaks my heart to hear that that's going on. And I'm so sorry that uh, Adderall is causing that pain. I know if I started taking it again, 
I probably would have a big rift with my wife because right now I give her time and on Adderall there was no time for anybody but me. I'd be curious to know how she's destroyed her life. You may not be capable of helping her, probably. You need to find somebody to help her. Your question, was there anything anyone could have said? That was your actual question. Um, probably not. When I was on Adderall, I built temples of logic to justify my choices. Um, I knew it was wrong. And I would say things like, you know this is wrong, you know that you're hurting yourself, you know you're hurting your heart, you know you're hurting your, your brain, you know that you're doing all this stuff, but the feeling of goodness and clarity and self-assuredness that the drugs gave me made it um, almost impossible. I, I would constantly justify to myself that it's an unnatural substance for an unnatural world, and the only way that I could interact with a world that wasn't built on um, traditional natural relationship with the earth was to take something as unnatural as the world that we built and that's a pretty okay justification but in the end I learn how to do it without it because it is an unnatural world and we are some kind of beings that have to interact with it if you believe you're not addicted to something don't do it for a year okay 16 years old and have been prescribed ADHD meds for about six months since the end of last school year. I did not take it consistently and went on breaks without it quite often. Recently, since I got my new prescription of Adderall, 25 milligrams XR for the school day and 15 milligrams IR. So that XR is extended release. It means that it goes in the body and the bloodstream at um, like regulated releases so you don't take all 25 milligrams at once it kind of divides itself out in the day so you don't peak and valley you kind of stay steady um for the school day and 15 milligrams ir so that means the 15 milligrams is a solid amphetamine salt that was um so what's happening my doctor did the same thing i'll finish your question to me but what it is is you have this 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 plateau of an adderall high during the day and then as it starts to go down in the middle of the afternoon to keep you from crashing until nighttime, bedtime, they'll give you a boost of straight up amphetamine salts that, that keep you going. So, you know, you're hacked, dude. But anyways, um, a 15 milligram hour in the afternoon for homework and such. So, there's some dependence you're building here. I like what it does to me. I find my mind at peace and finally paying attention in school. I like what it does to me. I felt as if I was a very annoying person off the meds, but now I feel as if I'm, in quotes, normal, and can just stay to myself and not have to be an attention whore class clown. I cannot decide if this is in my best interest for my health to continue taking this daily due to the negative long-term impact it will have on my dopamine levels and overall neurochemistry. Feedback would be appreciated. This is a really honest of you. I will tell you that I had the same issues. Um, when I, I started taking Adderall in high school, and I was annoying, I was desperate for attention, validation, and I, 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 we may have been a very similar person. And of course, um, you know, now I'm, I'm about twice your age, but here we are. I, I did feel normal on it. You know, I, I felt like I would get instructions and it was hard for me to put things together. And then when I took Adderall, I would be like, wow, all the directions that people give me but never work are working. All the ideas that I know are true and it seems like everyone operates on but not me, I can operate on. It felt like I was plugged in and that I was my real self that was hidden beneath some fog, of some kind of mental fog. And I, I was so focused on my insecurity or my worries and this and that and that and this that during school, I wouldn't do my work, I'd be thinking about something, I'd be trying to crack a joke, I'd be trying to think about uh, a girl who likes me, or my friends, if they like me, or, you know, I'd be really concerned with myself, and I found that when I took the drugs, man, whatever I was doing, I was focused on. For me, it was skateboarding. You know, I knew how tricks worked, but I couldn't always get them, I couldn't always do them. And then, on the Adderall, I just did it. Enough about me. So what you're talking about here, I totally have been through. And the honeymoon ends, and it's you can never get it back, and you'll end up chasing this feeling, is what happened. Because I started taking it um, again 
and junior year. Of course, I started taking Adderall meds when I was seven. Not Adderall, ADD meds when I was seven, and then I picked them back up in high school. You know, to get into college or whatever, just because I, I stopped caring about grades. But what then happened was I, you know, I got new hobbies. I was clear. I felt good about myself. I got, in, I, got I, I, I shed weight. I was focused. I, I was full of energy, you know, and I thought it was me. But the, the humbling reality that I came to eight years later, um, you know, when I was on my floor in my rented house um, looking for little pebbles of, of Adderall on the ground because I was all out and, and I didn't know what I was going to do. I was scared of who I was behind the veil. Was that, uh, it was, it's an illusion. And the person you want to be is in there, but the work you have to do is a lot harder than taking a pill. Because you need to figure out that you're annoying and catch yourself. Ask yourself why you're annoying. And those impulses need to be honed in. And I, I don't know, because I, I'm not 16 anymore. You know, my brain's done developing. I've done a lot of self-work in all kinds of ways to find out who I really was and, and look back in the cosmic mirror at who I project and what I've become. And I've gone through a long period of the drug addiction and the withdrawals and the recovery and the redefining of the self that can only come through that experience. But if I, were, if I could go back to myself in high school in 16 when I was totally in your situation, you know, honestly, sometimes I say, man, I miss that. I wish I could go back in time and, and feel the high of the Adderall then because there was no rough edges on it. But over time, with elongated use, the, your ability to focus and get things done and to regulate your neurochemistry without it gets weaker and weaker and weaker the more you use it because you're you're telling your body and your brain that in order to experience focus and in order to experience regular serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine levels or whatever have you uh, chemically, that your body says, oh, we don't need to worry about producing that on our own because we get it from the amphetamine that you take every day. So when you stop taking the amphetamine, your body is still used to expecting the amphetamine, so you will experience a deep lull. And permanently, I can't know how much it damaged my ability to produce dopamine and serotonin, because there's no I don't have a twin who didn't take Adderall. This is it. And you, you can't know. So if you end up regretting what you've done in the future, well, you can't know. So that's definitely a drawback. And I would recommend you do more work on yourself and ask yourself why you're so annoying or you feel you're annoying. Because now you're on Adderall looking at your previous self, judgmentally. You're, you're on a drug and you're looking at who you are off the drug and criticizing that person and uh, activating some kind of supremacy over that person and you have to ask yourself if you're really better or if you're just you know experiencing delusions of grandeur that's that's all i got for you now if you have more questions feel free to ask because this is important to me because i i, I really loved adderall very much and it was a huge part of my character and now that it's something gone for me i, I want to talk about it so you know, to guide people, I guess, to help you along the path, because it really messed with my head. That's all I'm going to say about that for now. If you have more questions, you can ask me questions.